Good morning, guys. It's the crack of dawn. And in fact, tomorrow we'll be videoing at the crack of dawn. Why, you ask? Because it's a horse show day. The horses are loving their round bale. Loving it. <laughs> They're all watching us. They're like, are you coming to feed me? No, we're doing goats. Anyway, I probably haven't been sick other than that infection that I got, which is different. I have not had a virus probably in like 16 years. Now is the time, you guys. I'm at 90% sure that I have COVID. I have all the symptoms of COVID. It's like more of like a head thing. Oh, I felt rough last night. All of a sudden I got a fever and I was freezing and all of my joints ached. I had to go to bed, I went to bed at 8 p.m. I didn't even get to say goodnight to my goat. I asked them and Sophie to do it because I literally couldn't handle it. I slept like 12 hours. No, I slept like, yeah, I think 12 hours. I feel a little bit better right now, but I just have like a lot of pressure in my head. But yeah, this is sick Laura. You've never met her before. Hi babies. I missed you last night. <laughs> They're like, yeah, well we don't care about you. That's just, just a joke. They do care about me. But look at how cute they are with all their different colors. That little, little honey is growing. Look at how much bigger she is now. She's almost as big as Cricket. Hello ladies. Good morning. I almost convinced myself to enter Toffee in a goat show this weekend. I was so excited and the only thing that stopped me is that I'd have to shave her and it's getting cold. Like, I could put a sweater on her for the winter but I just don't like the idea of taking off all her hair going into winter because she's still little. But I really want to show her too. So the other day you guys saw Sam and I came down and cleaned up a bunch of this hay that was in here and we smushed down all that area over there and made it nicer. I love it so much better. But this morning I talked to a friend of a friend that I met on the vlog. I haven't talked to her for a really long time and she messaged me and asked me about that. She asked me about that blue green algae and um, it made me realize like how much I appreciate any of you guys that have been around since the beginning and I just wanted to say like I love so many of you guys. Honestly, I love so many of you guys so much and I appreciate you and I just want to say thank you for always being there for us. Like it honestly means so much. I feed them breakfast outside now because it takes them forever to eat and usually they're so excited to go out that they don't eat in their stalls. But I let the babies out first so that the mean girls don't take all the grain. Hi Cricket. Hi baby. I know she's my favorite goat even though she's a little shy. But if you go out there and you sit and you're just quiet and calm she'll just sit with you. You're a good girl. You're a good girl too. All three of these are gir good girls. But isn't it crazy though how Lola who came like she was the odd man out and then she came here and then she built her own little army. She mothered all the babies that we bought. And then she just made her own group of goats. Like in life, you never know, like things happen and you never know the true purpose of them. That you just are going along in life and things happen. And it's sometimes not till much later that you figure out what, what, why that happened. Like we got Lola on a whim. We wanted to get her out of going for meat. Sophie loved her. Um, we just, it was just like an impulse buy and we got her and it was a lot of work getting her because we had to do all this testing to make sure that she was healthy. And we kept her away from our other goats for like a month. And then in the end, it turned out that she was the perfect goat to welcome any of our new goats. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's amazing. I'm so happy that we have her, but we didn't know any of that information, who she would become to us when we first got her. But that's the way that everything in life works. You don't necessarily know the reason that things happen, but there's always a purpose. There's always a reason. I missed you guys. Oh my gosh. Blech. He's starting to stink now. You stink, but he has a bath in his pool very often during the day, so he only stinks occasionally. And it's not like poop. He smells like pee, <laughs> but a weird pee, a musky pee, and it is overpowering. But I love him still. He stops eating and looks over at me. He's like, what, what do you need from me? Or else he's thinking, oh, you're squatted down. I could mate you because that's what he does. This is what takes the longest all the time when we're in the when we let the goats out. It's 
Posey and Snickers. They take forever to finish eating. It's actually so funny because when he first came, it took him a little while before he figured out our routine. And now he knows that he just goes out. He comes in and goes out. He knows the routine. Come on, don't make a liar of me. Get out there. Today he's taking the scenic route. <laughs> Never takes the scenic route. <laughs> Get out there, mister. One thing I love about pigs is that they never go to the bathroom in their stall. One time I left Posey in for a whole day. Come on, get out there. Oh. I left her in her stall for a whole day because she was sick, do you guys remember? And then I let her out in the morning and she ran out and she peed for like six, for so long. And it's because she doesn't pee or go to the bathroom in her stall, so she held it that long. I. I I was I forgot that she doesn't go in her stall. I thought she would go in her stall if she absolutely had to, but she she didn't. All right, last one. Last one every day is my baby girl. Hi baby girl. Whoop. And that, my friends, is a wrap. Did you let the boy goats out? It may be a wrap, but I'll be down here like three or four more times today, checking on everybody, making sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. I suspect the girl goats are gonna head up to the new round bale. Once they see that, they'll be excited. Hi, baby. <laughs> he likes to go in and see if they left any grain. Bye, Winston. I always like to give Winston a little bit of love because he is still such a love. Yeah. Next week I plan to switch the goats around. That will be exciting. Be the start of breeding season for us. I will put the babies with Winston and I'll put Ziggy with the girls. And I'll probably leave it like that for a little while, but I'll put them all back in their own stalls at night so that Lola can still be with her babies because I do feel sad that they're gonna be like a little bit of separation, like Lola's gonna be missing her baby so much. Another gorgeous day on the Day by Day Farm. Sophie is not feeling good, she's getting my cold. Oh look, I love seeing, I don't know if you guys can see her. She's laying there on that deck. They think that this thing is for them. They think Sam made it for them. Everywhere in this property there's like a little hiding spot or a little house for everybody that's where the ducks stay okay so you guys know we are going to a horse show tomorrow so excited all right so one of so a girl that's going to be showing with us it's her first time showing she doesn't have any showing stuff so i told her i would look and see if i had like she doesn't have any paddock boots she doesn't have show clothes so i told her i'd come out and see if i have anything that will fit her so i think these would probably fit her she's tall and lean but I'm gonna have to wash them hi <laughs> it's just so funny to see them all over the place I don't know if anything that we have will work for her but, but I do have nice show shirts the only ones that I think will work are these but I don't know I think I just found more holy heck I found our fly boots so these are boots that you put on your horse so that the flies don't bother them because when horses are stomping it can actually cause problems for them because they're stomping into the hard ground and i actually have two pairs anyway sophie wants to put them on a lady but i've been looking for them for days also paddock boots i can just uh, clean so i have two show shirts that she can choose between this one is a tailored sportsman that a good friend sent to us 
and I love it. And then this one is actually brand new. It's Gabby's, it's a size small, but it's so super long. It's from Cowgirl Up With Green. It's the kind that Sophie wears, but this is the white version of it. Oh my gosh, I love it too. Like I love the fit of them. I love that they're perforated. So those are the two shirts I'm gonna uh, let her try. So I'm going to clean up these shoes. So I have these paddock shoes, these are mine, and apparently she's the same size. So I'm gonna clean those. Anyway, I have those in the wash. Hopefully that they'll fit her. They're youth extra large, but they look really tiny. Ever since I stopped feeding the chickens, they don't come into the front until like late in the day and they don't even come up to me as much. They still are really friendly and they and they still let me pet them. But I feel the loss of them. I lost Ellie, you guys. I swear. I lost her. I lost her to a puppy. She used to be my best friend always. And now since the puppy came, she spends so much time with her that she doesn't hardly spend any time with me now. Like when we're outside, she's always with the puppy. The puppy is her best friend. I'm hoping that I'll get Ellie back once the puppy grows up and I suspect I will. But now that it's gonna be winter, I'm gonna lose my bond with the turkeys. I just know it and it'll make me sad because I love the turkeys. They love the shiny button on my shirt. Do you guys see it? They just keep pecking it. They're like, they're so cute. They're my babies. They're actually fighting each other over me. <laughs> I love them all equally. Now that it's fall, all of our chickens are broody. So if I lift up all these chickens, there's going to be a whole pile of eggs under each, every, underneath every single one of them. There's like four of them. I changed my mind. I decided, you know what? If they want to lay on eggs that badly, and then I'm going to let them lay on eggs. We never do that, but we have so many eggs now. So Sam keeps buying these kind of light bulbs at the dollar store and they die so fast. So he got some at Walmart. Who else loves when they have like this protective coating on there and you get to pick it off? I love it. I actually need to turn on the light and see which ones are broken. All right, it is perfect. This one needs a replacement. Finally, nice and bright again. I love this burn so much because it's so bright and it really killed me having those light bulbs burnt out. So much better now, nice and bright. It's kind of like a dank basement, a dark basement, but I love this barn. I came down to sit with my goats and they're not here. I literally feel awful today, like I feel tight in my chest. So I'm just making my rounds and just sitting with my animals. Usually I have so much to do, I never do that. So now that I don't feel like doing anything else, I feel like it's the perfect time to just spend with my animals. And like I said, it's almost winter. And that's gonna end. I should have known where they'd be in the shade. I'm literally just sitting here and honey comes over, keeps coming over and I've been scratching her neck and she's grooming me and it's like amazing. Like this makes you feel better. Like it doesn't matter what is wrong with you. Like she is adorable. I love this baby. You guys, she's almost three. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if I have poor slubber on my hair. Who cares? It's like a head massage. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. Uh. Ow! <laughs> that hurts! <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you jealous? No. Are you sure? She likes me better, I mean, I all know that. Well, she's just been grooming me and loving me. I know. Because you've the one out here. I know she's so sweet though like sometimes this horse like every once in a while an animal comes along and it, it's if the more animals you have the more times it can happen to you but we have like a few horses like we have lady and we have honey and we have t and we have toffee the goat we have posy the pig you guys know we have certain animals that are just are just so sweet oh that stuff reeks yeah, they convinced me to buy this wax thing at the store. Who convinced you? Uh, Gabby? They did half my truck and they're like, here dude. Now I said my half my oh. truck is clean, so how am I going to clean the other half? Oh, so you went and someplace? Then I bought it, but it's, look at the window. Look how clean it is. It's supposed to be a wax, so when the water goes on there, it just... Are you going to wipe? Oh, I love it. Did it get rid of those scratches? No. No, no they didn't. They said it would help with scratches, but... No, it doesn't. I don't think it did. It is 5.55 p.m. 
and it is show prep. See what I mean? Like she doesn't even pay any attention to me anymore. All she does is play with the puppy. But I know that when the puppy gets older, she won't have as much energy. So Sophie is supposed to, Sophie is supposed to be in here. Uh oh. Anyway, it's almost six o'clock and it is show prep and I just need one more night to sleep. I just need like one more night to sleep. I still feel yucky. Like uh, in terms of how colds go, I literally don't get that sick. <coughs> so I just need one more night to sleep. Like I sleep so much. I think that's why I never get sick. I just need to sleep 12 more hours. I think I'll be good tomorrow. Come here, little baby. I love you. I just want you for myself. Do you guys know last night Ellie came running upstairs when I went to bed and I had a fever and I was like moaning because I was in agony. She sniffed me. She walked right up to me. She sniffed me. Sniffed my whole like upper half. Turned around and left. Just left me there. That's my only regret with Ellie and her breed is that she is a night owl. She stays up all night until Sam goes to bed. She comes to bed with Sam. It's just her, her way. I'm used to chihuahuas who never want to be away from you and want to cuddle underneath the covers and sleep with you. Like, my chihuahuas slept all the, <coughs> all the time. They always wanted to lay with me. Ellie never wants to lay with me. Yeah, Dalmatians are the same. So oh, I'm, I'm it's nighttime, so I'm starting to feel like a little bit worse. I've been feeling worse. I know, so, time. I know. So, like, Sophie's sick and she has I'm to braid. You're braiding. Sophie, I don't know if I can. You're braiding. She asked me if I'd braid and I said yes, but there's no way I got hours in me. There's no way. You're not backing out. Oh, I'm backing out. I'm so glad she's finally using this soap. It's citronella and it smells, it makes like no bugs bite them. It's supposed to repel bugs, but it's really good. It's called Virtue Soap Company. She's like, I know what this means. No, she's like, I don't really want to do this either. Why? I feel like we should let Sam and Gabby do it and you and I go to bed. Well, I don't want to sleep. I need to sleep. I know, you still love me. She still does love me. She just wants to play all the time. Do you guys remember when I told you about how ever since I started taking that, um, that blue green algae and my sense of smell has been so, so strong. Well, today I was just sitting with the goats and my pig and I was trimming my pig's feet and I was petting the goats and I could smell this horrible smell. I've never smelled a smell on my goats ever before. And I was like, what is that smell? So I smelled my hands after rubbing them and it smelled like turpentine. Goats smell like turpentines. If you have turpentine, if you have like a really strong sense of smell, like a superhero sense of smell, they smell like turpentine, but they don't actually smell. Only I smell it. Ellie. <sighs> Ellie, even with a stuffy nose and a cold. Whoa. <laughs> How about, this the worst. I hate <laughs> Sophie's like, finally at the stage. Every, every year, every show, <laughs> every single show this year, I've been like, do you want me to braid? And she's like, no, it's my horse. I'll braid it. And now she's like, I hate it. It's the worst. The thing that we're mourning the most of this show is that we like to have weekends to sleep in. It's only till like 7.30. But it's still, like, it's a big difference for us. And just that extra hour and a half is just so wonderful. So we begged Gabby. We begged her. <laughs> she said no. We forced, <laughs> we forced her. We just said, like, Gabby, when you need a free pass for chores, we will give it to you. But I just, we can't. And then I told Sam, like, you have to do my chores for the goats again. I just need to go to bed. I just need to go to bed. Why do I do them. I just need to sleep because I just need to sleep one more time for 12 hours. One more time and then uh, tomorrow I'm going to feel a lot better. I know it. Anyway, that's it. Mom of the year. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're